हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज योर कैप्टन शेयर्स एंड दिस इज योर दीक्षा कौशल मैम यस एंड वी हैव द लाइव पेपर रिएक्शन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू माई डियर वॉरियर्स एंड वी आर गेटिंग कंटिन्यूस मैसेजेस फ्रॉम आर किड्स एंड वी हैव नोटेड डाउन सर्टन पॉइंट सो वी विल नॉट वेस्ट योर टाइम एंड वी विल स्टेट अवे गेट टू द पॉइंट गाइज दिस टाइम यू नो सरप्राइजिंगली केमिस्ट्री हैज बीन द वन which has uh, been a notch higher it is a uh, little difficult and we were predicting this that either physics or chemistry could be tough and guess what mathematics paper has uh, become little bit medium level not very hard but medium types so overall the paper level is easy to moderate kind and uh, i will start with physics and then chemistry sure. uh, diksha ma'am will uh, tell you about it so in physics uh, many questions were direct and formula based and very few questions have come from those topics which are normally not asked like for example microscope remember optical instruments many kids left out last year and it did not come even last year and even before that but this time they have asked a question on microscope so guys if you are in the second shift or for tomorrow you are preparing please study optical instruments next thing or ray optics there were questions on uh, you know uh, effective focal length and lens maker formula units and dimensions errors one one question logics uh, logic gates one question modern physics one question kinematics there was a question on integration then uh, you had KTG and thermo, even calorimetry. Remember specific heat capacity, law of calorimetry. Usually kids leave that kind of questions. That particular question has come in the examination. And in rigid body mechanics, basically rotational motion, such a difficult, lengthy, big chapter. And they have again asked the question on moment of inertia. So the theorems of moment of inertia and the MOI formulas are very important. And uh, it has been repeated even in the last year. electro uh, statics one question came current one question came capacitor one question came fluids two questions have come one on bernoulli's elasticity also one question has come waves uh, light waves also one question has come all right so that is for physics my dear warriors now let's talk about chemistry and then maths Uh, yes so students for chemistry uh, students are saying that uh, it's lengthy paper and what we can see is they have asked multiple answer like uh, they have given you three four statements and out of that three or four or maybe all the statements are correct so these kind of questions where easily silly mistakes can be done and then inorganic is a little on the difficult side and from chemical bonding and coordination chemistry they have asked a lot of questions so students who have their uh, exam tomorrow or shift to revise chemical bonding and coordination chemistry very important questions from theory and uh, from mot vbt cft go through them revise it again then if i talk about there was one question of organic plus physical right they have asked you uh, one reaction a to b b to c c to d after that you have to tell the mass of that that means you have to apply mole concept in that so physical plus organic then uh, organic uh, goc from also goc also questions were asked based on stability of intermediate for that back bonding aromaticity revise it there also you can get easily the marks and also uh, yes about this right so i think uh, now namrata ma'am will join and tell you about maths absolutely this year has been a game changer and uh, especially the first uh, first paper uh, students are saying that chemistry was relatively on harder side and uh, they have spent more time on chemistry than mathematics this is the very first time it has happened and uh, if i just talk about uh, what kind of questions uh, were asked so it was pretty much which which we have predicted most probably uh, <clears throat> vector and 3d geometry the highest weighted chapter students are saying that they have seen two to three questions from this particular chapter so again we have predicted this and again sequence and series quadratic equation binomial theorem one question each from all these chapters we have seen then uh, permutation and combination plus probability combined one question as we expect in mathematics hybrid question they combine two chapters and give you one question so these kind of questions but you know what so uh, i would say the marks distribution uh, is absolutely balanced which we predict every year the same kind of pattern we are seeing but you know what students are telling that they were able to solve a mathematics question and they were able to tick the right answer this is the very first time this kind of reaction i am seeing from the students since so, 
based on this what should be the revised strategy which the second shift student should follow because in case chemistry is tougher maths is easier and physics is also mid level so i think students need to rethink their strategy for the examination you should not expect that chemistry if you do it in the first go you will be able to complete it within 30 minutes or 40 minutes it's a little bit difficult absolutely the strategy should be i guess flexible based on the paper because we we don't know right now maybe the first paper chemistry is hard the next paper physics could be hard or maybe the maths could be slightly calculative so you should be calculate uh, you should be flexible slightly flexible in your strategy based on what exactly you are getting how questions you are getting and then you can approach your uh, question paper i think also uh, in mathematics some triangle related question came apparently which i think is deleted in the syllabus but students said that they were able to solve it so i think students should also keep in mind that you might feel something is out of the syllabus but using some theorems and laws of whatever is there within the syllabus you might still be able to solve it so just keep a watch on that absolutely yeah so i would like to say uh, we told you about one strategy yesterday only we uh, told you that easy then medium then go for tough questions now because we don't know as namrata ma'am said we don't know in the next shift whether chemistry will be easy or physics will be difficult we don't know right even you don't know even we don't know now that is unpredictable for you as well so now in the exam if you are like so confident that now physics is easy now i'll start with physics and somehow physics is tough in the next shift yeah. now you will panic and in that you will end up uh, wasting a lot of time in physics as well and you will lose marks so that is why you have to be very flexible that okay if you see okay physics is little on the tougher side but maybe some questions will be easy in chemistry also it's not like every single question is tough in the shift 1 some questions are easily done so you need to identify that in physics chemistry and maths and then you need to solve it then go for medium for whichever subject then go for tough questions if you still have time. Time. Yeah. So for physics, around ninety-nine percentile, you will need close to eighty marks still. Uh, so the paper level is not very difficult, but not so easy. Also, it's a balanced paper, is what I feel. And uh, just like Ma'am said, please check for easy questions and uh, quickly move on to the next subject or the next question because time will not spare you. Time will have no mercy on you. because yes this time i feel the cutoffs might actually go little bit on the lower side if the paper level becomes more difficult in the next shift because usually the first shift is easy usually and the next shift or the day 2 and day 3 becomes more difficult so if that happens the overall nature of the difficulty might be higher than 2025 is what the prediction is okay we will start with the paper discussion within some time so that you guys know what kind of questions exactly have come and these are all memory based because obviously nta does not release the actual question paper so stay tuned on the channel the paper level was moderate i won't say easy maths people said easy because they were expecting very difficult and the paper came moderate so it felt like okay doable and same with chemistry so i genuinely feel because i have taught you difficult questions as well in the mock test right we had one day of difficult questions right uh, so we expect that chemistry will be very easy easy now when you have some really good questions in chemistry some lengthy questions students have specified that it was not difficult it was on the lengthier side you were taking more time to solve the questions so yes everybody we will take your uh, analysis paper analysis and in some time yeah and uh, yeah, we'll definitely. see you all in that especially and do, do, do not forget to like this video and also the next video mark your attendance and subscribe mainly <laughs> to the number 1 j english channel right now okay okay students okay bye bye take care see you <laughs>